Hello everyone, today's lesson is lesson 43, more arithmetic with mixed numbers. So here we have this problem. The local pizzeria will donate 14 pizzas to the sixth grade picnic. How many pizzas will there be for each of the three classes of sixth graders? Okay, so I know that we have 14 pizzas and I need to divide them among the three classes. Okay, so we think, okay, well, 14 divided by 3 is 4. 3 times 4 is 12. 14 minus 12 equals 2. So I know that each class is going to get 4 whole pizzas. Okay, so I'm going to do this over here. But now I have a remainder. My remainder is 2. So that means I have 2 pizzas left to divide. And I need to divide those pizzas in for three classes. So I'm going to take both pizzas and divide them into three parts. Okay. So we can see that one class gets two pieces, one class gets two pieces, and the third class gets two pieces. So that's two of the three pieces, so that's two-thirds. So each class is going to get four and two-thirds of the, of the pizzas. Okay. Now we also know that because my remainder becomes my numerator, and the denominator is the number I'm dividing by, so three. So four and two-thirds. Okay. Let's try another one. So at home, Mario uses a bread machine to make bread. To make three loaves of bread, Mario uses seven cups of whole wheat flour. Which quotient represents the number of cups of flour Mario uses to make a loaf of bread? So let's first solve the problem. So we're going to do seven divided by three. Okay, because there's two ways I can write this. So I know seven divided by three is two. Three times two is six. Subtract, and I get one left over. So this can be two remainder one. Or, I do the same thing, and I turn this into a fraction. So remember, the numerator is the, the remainder, so that 1, and the denominator is what I'm dividing by. So I have 2 remainder 1 and 2 and 1 third. So how many cups of flour do you, which one would show how many cups of flour he uses for one loaf? Well, I cannot have a remainder cup of flour. It just doesn't work. So I need to have it in a fraction form. So two and one third cups is how much flour would be in one loaf of bread. All right, let's do another one. So this says a whole circle is 100% of the circle. If a circle is divided into thirds, then each third is what percent? So to find the percent, we're going to take the 100% and divide it into thirds, okay? So we go 10 divided by 3 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Subtract. 10 minus 9 is 1. Bring down the 0. 10 divided by 3 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Subtract. And we have 1 left over. Okay, so I have 1% that's not divided. So I need to divide that into 3 pieces. So my fraction is going to be 1 third, because remember numerator and denominator, and then my label is percent. So one third of a circle is 33 and one third percent. Okay. Now we've studied whole numbers, fractions, and mixed numbers, and when we add these numbers, we add the whole numbers to whole numbers and fractions to fractions, and we do the same thing with subtraction. So this says a recipe calls for one and one half cups of milk to five cups of whole wheat flour. To find the sum of these ingredients, add five and one and a half, okay? So we do five plus one and a half, all right? So remember, we add whole numbers together and fractions. So we're gonna divide these into this problem into half. So I end up having no fraction plus one half. Well, nothing plus one half equals one half. And then five plus one is six. So my answer is going to be six and one half. All right, next problem. 
For Tuesday night's homework, Allie spent one hour reading and one and a half an hour finishing a math assignment. To find the total time Allie spent on his homework, add one plus one half. Okay, so we add the whole numbers and fractions together. When, since I have no fraction to add to the one half and no whole number to add to the one, that means I just combine this together into a mixed number. So I end up having one and one half hours. Okay, let's do one more. So Gracelia bought three and a half pounds of grapes at the store and used half a pound of grapes in a fruit salad. Find the weight of the grapes she has left. Perform the subtraction problem. So we're going to do three and one half minus one half. Again, since we subtract one half and one half, we end up with zero halves, which is the same as zero. So we can just cross that off. So then three minus nothing is three. So I find that I have three pounds left of grapes. Okay, and that's it for this assignment. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck on your assignment.